Looky, here he is. I got him out of his box, but I'm not going to turn him on for another hour or so. I'm going to start him at 6 o'clock. So he'll run from 6 to midnight. And then, um, yeah. So he's a cute little fella, isn't he? Um, I don't really know where I'm going to put him. It's either going to be the living room window or the kitchen window. I have to see where he'll um, hang the best or sit the best. I lost my gumption to go to Sam's Club today. I just didn't feel like going. It's like mm, 40 minutes away. Nah, maybe 30 minutes away. And I just didn't feel like going there. So I ended up doing some paperwork. Um, got my desk straightened out. I really should go through the envelope for our licensing, but I want to talk to my cousin about that to go over things with him. But they didn't get here till late yesterday, and um, it was just in and out because he knew I was leaving for the Christmas party. So we didn't get to go over some stuff that I wanted to, but he had Mike with him anyway, and I really want a day where it's just me and Ron going over some stuff. That's boring, I know. Uh, first, I got some thank yous for cards. Ready? Ready? Um... I got one with glitter on it. Thank you, Ruth. From Oh Shut Her Up. It's a pretty little glittery card, which I'm holding very daintily because it's going to get glitter all over the place. Glittery cards are the best. Unless it's a glittery kind that doesn't come off. Okay, I know I know this person and I see her on Facebook and for the life of me, for the life of me, I do cannot remember your YouTube name. And you're going to have to tell me because I can't remember. And I know I know it. Um, You'll know. Look, they got a Heidi dog. That's Gizmo. I showed Dad the card and they're like, they have a Heidi dog. Thank you, Sharon. That's her dog. Well, that's her. Her and her husband. But there's the Heidi dog. I hope you don't mind that I showed your name. You are on Facebook, so people know what your name is. Um, is that chair little? That has to be a little tiny chair that that dog's in because it's just as big as the dog. Gizmo would be friends with Heidi. So, thank you so much for that. I loved seeing the dog on there. Oh, it was so cute. Because y'all know, I love my wiener dogs. I do, I do. I heard Dad, I got one more card, but I'll, I, I'm talking about wiener dogs for a second. Um, you know, Dad's the gruff, he always says, I'm never having another dog after Heidi. After Heidi, I'm done with dogs. And a couple days ago, I heard him on the phone talking to somebody. I have no idea who. And I heard him say... Yeah, if something ever happens to Heidi, I'd have to get another little dog like her. They do keep you going. I'd have to have another little dog. I have not said a word that I've heard this information. And he'll act like he don't want one, but he'd really want another dog. I wished I would have had it recorded so he could never deny it. But I heard it. And this one's from Gigi, and I love the fact that she got me a Christmas card that has an outhouse on it. Because, you know, pooper person. It says, well, then hurry up and bring me some wrapping paper. Because apparently Santa Claus ran out of some TP. Thank you, Gigi. That was really cute. Can you imagine having to wipe the took us with some wrapping paper? That's not on my top ten list. Um, today is pretty short. I don't really have much to say. After I did my paperwork, I caught up on watching the last episode of American Horror Story. I love that show. I caught up on the last episode of Survivor because I was at home last night to watch it and I forgot to DVR it. I really watched most everything online. Um, is that the only two things I watched? I'm still behind the episode of Heart of Dixie. And I don't know about once upon a time. And I think I'm behind an episode of Grimm. And maybe even Revenge. 
I have a list. These are the shows, and I keep I put little tag marks on what episode number I'm on. Y'all know I'm a nerd, right? Um, I've even started. <laughs> I'll admit this. I started my list for my trip in April of the things that we can't forget to take with us because since we are renting a house, um. This particular house does have sheets and towels that come with it because some of the beach rentals don't have that. So we don't have to worry about that, but we do have to remember to take stuff like paper towels, toilet papers, garbage bags, you know, stuff like that. So I've been writing that down as I've been thinking of it. So the lists have already started for that. And right now outside for the last two days, somebody has been drilling and it sounds like a giant dentist drill outside my window. It's horrible. Makes me cringe. Whew. Um, that's about all I got for today. I hope y'all are having a nice Thursday. This is Thursday. Okay. Um, dad just went for a little ride with the dog. Um, when he gets bored, that's his way to get out. I want to take Heidi for a ride. You want me to check your P.O. box? So he'll go out and go down. Usually his thing is to go bond down by the river, just drive and mosey, maybe stop at Aunt Linda's or stop at my cousin Bart's and see what's going on. And Or he'll end up at Larry's or you just never know. Last night when I got home, he wasn't here and he went um, to, I found out, I found out there was some drama. So apparently this isn't going to be as short as I thought. My Aunt Becky, my dad's sister, not the crazy one, Becky is the wild one, she had the granddaughter that was wanted from the newspaper a while back that I showed. Uh, she's out east somewhere, and apparently she got arrested and went to jail out there. Shocker. Not so much. Um, she has been raising her grandson. What's his name? Um, I can't say his name. I, I, don't, I can't remember what it is. Um, his sister's name's Destiny, and his name is... But he is becoming violent, doesn't want to go to school, does drugs, drinks. She got to her breaking point yesterday, finally, after all this time of my dad going, you need to take him and drop him off at his mama, where she needs to be the one raising him. She... Threw him in the car and said, come on, and went out and pulled in the driveway and said, get out. And and her daughter, Pam, said, "How am I? what am I supposed to do? And she's like, you're the mom, I'll figure it out. And left. <laughs> left him there. Which is something she should have done a long time ago. So I'm very proud of my aunt for doing that, finally. She has lived her life in chaos for so many years that she's used to these grandkids who treat her like crap. Every time I don't go over there, my dad doesn't like being over there because it's just cursing all the time, fighting. It's just crazy. And this kid here, you know, he's had the whole basement of the house that's made into a big bedroom. They give him everything. And he still thinks that he deserves to do what he wants. He's a minor. He never goes to school hardly, and it's just crazy, and I'm just glad she finally said, you know, your mama needs to deal with you. So good on Aunt Becky. I hope she don't take him back. She's still, like, she's going to pack up all the rest of his stuff and, and have it taken out to him, because she didn't give him time to take much of anything yesterday. She just said, get in the car, you're going to your mom's. Um... Okay, yeah, that was just a little, I don't know, family rant, I guess. So, I am off now to, I was going to watch something. What time is it? It's 5 o'clock, so I have an hour before I turn on Penguin. I think I'll watch maybe Once Upon a Time or something else. Bye-bye, everyone.